Just think like that for a moment. What if the world's most infamous volcano were to erupt once more? How extensive would the damage be? Which cities will bear the brunt of the damage? How many individuals will lose their lives? And what will be the overall cost to humanity? Here at Volcanow, we will talk about the disruption one eruption can make and what losses one has to suffer. Are you intrigued to know? Watch until the end to find out how safe you would be if Vesuvius would erupt right now? Let's find out then! It is not a question of whether or not Mount Vesuvius in Italy will erupt. Rather, the question is when it will do so. What will you do? How will you protect yourself? Is there any way? Well, researchers in the fields of geology and volcanology who study Mount Vesuvius almost unanimously agree that the mountain is long overdue for an eruption. Because of this, the Vesuvius Observatory keeps a close eye on the mountain's seismic activity, gas emissions, and other signs around the clock to predict when the volcano is most likely to erupt. In the year 79 AD, the famed volcano was responsible for the near instantaneous destruction of the nearby towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum. It is the only active volcano that is located on the European mainland and it is often regarded as one of the most deadly natural hazards in the world. Nevertheless, the red zone that encompasses the 18 municipalities located at its foot is home to a population of 600,000. It is the only active volcano in continental Europe and is considered one of the most dangerous in the world. And this is not just because of the case of Pompeii. About 3 million people live near Vesuvius and 800,000 of them are in what is known as the Red Zone. Vesuvius began to form around 25,000 years ago and has erupted numerous times. Do you understand any of it? Like what all of this is pointing to? We have a volcano that is considered active, which means that it periodically erupts, and many people are living at the foot of it. In addition, Vesuvius is located above a huge reservoir of magma that is located deep in the ground, and it has an area that is approximately 400 square kilometers or 154 square miles. This is an area around the volcano that will be affected, and it has an area of 200 square kilometers. This is a huge reserve in which the concentration of various gases increases over the years. The longer Vesuvius remains quiet, the more dangerous it becomes. We can even say that it's just gaining strength. However, one day the patience of the volcano will end. First, a powerful explosion will occur, and then a pyroclastic flow will follow, sweeping away everything in its path. This is a mixture of hot volcanic gas, ash, and rock fragments. The streams are expected to accelerate. Scientists believe that during the destruction of Pompeii, the volcano produced six separate pyroclastic emissions, so the area that would be immediately affected could be huge. At the same time, a huge pillar of smoke and ashes would rise, the height of which can reach 32 kilometers or 20 miles. During the eruption, a huge amount of thermal energy is released, leading to the death of many people in just a short amount of time. As a result, air traffic across the continent will be disrupted for several weeks. Pompeii will once again be buried under ash and pumice, and along with it, smaller settlements in Naples will simply be razed to the ground. No modern construction methods can prevent this very quickly. Houses can be buried under a thick layer of volcanic ash and pumice in places it can reach up to 20 meters or 66 feet. Most likely, the roofs of homes will not be able to withstand such a weight. Everything that we have described here will take place very quickly, perhaps in as little as 15 minutes. The only thing people will be able to do is to flee, but after this, it will not be possible for them to go back to their homes because there simply will not be any houses in the affected area. The entire zone of destruction will be turned into a lifeless desert, and of course, it will be a huge blow to the Italian economy. According to some reports, the loss will amount to approximately 24 billion US dollars, 
excluding the cost of housing for displaced residents. Oh my gosh, how terrifying it'll be. However, the locals are prepared for a powerful eruption, or at least they think they are prepared. As we mentioned at the beginning, the red zone is the most dangerous area near the volcano, and it will be nearly impossible to survive here. Scientists continue to monitor the activity of Mount Vesuvius around the clock, seven days a week. They are doing everything they can to forecast the possibility of an impending disaster. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you've made it this far into the video. Therefore, when Vesuvius begins to erupt again, the Italian government will conduct an urgent evacuation. The plan provides for the use of buses and cars, but trains and ships may also be required to meet deadlines. In 72 hours, the red zone should be completely cleared. This is pretty difficult because there are too many people living there and they are not military and are in a constant state of readiness. However, things are in a much better place than they were before, and the data from 2003 looked discouraging. Hence, if we reduce the population, we could accomplish this task in eight days. However, Vesuvius is unlikely to wait that long. You may be wondering why anyone would settle so close to a volcano in the first place. The last time the volcano erupted was in the 16th century, but even earlier, it was the flagrancy and fields together with a couple of other volcanoes that caused such a disaster that resulted in the extinction of the Neanderthals. Imagine what would happen if the flagrant fields were to wake up today when the population density of the Earth is much higher. If something like this happens, the eruption of Vesuvius will seem like just a small nuisance in comparison, although then an eruption that would have the same effect on air traffic and shipping throughout the entire continent is Iafiala Yokel's explosion in 2010. This time it would last for weeks rather than days. Depending on which direction the wind is blowing, Pompeii and most likely downtown Naples could be buried in meters of ash, creating work for future archaeologists as they uncover our Rick Astley CDs and mutant Ninja Turtle figurines. Pompeii was built on top of a volcano that erupted in 79 AD and was destroyed by an earthquake and a volcanic eruption. The Italian government has devised an emergency evacuation plan to relocate 600,000 people living in the area to the safer ground within the next three days. However, after shorter periods of quiescence, eruptions that are less large but are nonetheless highly dangerous might take places such as the one that took place in 1944 or even the one that took place in 1631. For instance, the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Italy monitors ground deformation, studies gases emitted by fumaroles, and measures every earthquake that occurs in the vicinity of the volcanoes. All of these things are markers of activity occurring deep underground. In addition, there is a contingency plan that outlines how to evacuate the greater Naples area if surveillance leads to the conclusion that an eruption is imminent. To answer the question of what would happen if a volcano erupted tomorrow, we believe that first and foremost, we would need to relocate to a more secure location. We learnt this in this moment, as no amount of precautions would be enough to protect us from the devastating effects of such a devastating incident. And we here think we should thank our researchers that to forecast when the volcano is most likely to erupt, an observatory closely monitors the mountain seismic activity, gas emissions, and other signs around the clock. Don't forget to tell us in the comments what you think personally how could we tackle a volcanic eruption. And yes, don't be fooled if the news headlines would say Vesuvius is erupting at any moment. And you know what climate change may be influenced by volcanic activity. Major explosive eruptions inject vast quantities of volcanic gas, aerosol droplets, and ash into the stratosphere. Most of the injected ash is gone within a few days to a few weeks, so it doesn't do much to affect global warming. However, gases emitted by volcanoes can have opposing effects on the planet's temperature. Carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, from volcanoes 
has the potential to promote global warming. All right, viewers, Volcanow wants to thank you for your support. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you will never miss any updates.